Step two is creation of master schedules or master production schedules, MPS as this is called. So in master production schedule, I disaggregate the production plan or the aggregate plan that we had created. So in the previous video, we said that based on my business strategy, I need to produce 1800 sedans in quarter one and 1850 sedans in quarter two. So we disaggregate this in our master schedule. I disaggregate it monthly and I disaggregate the product groups to individual end products. And uh, to do this, to create a master schedule, what do I do is I get inputs from the production plan or the aggregate plan. And then I also take inputs from specific customer demand or from demand forecast and use that to build my master schedule. Uh, now, now, how much into the future must I plan for? Well, it generally depends on the total lead time of production, which includes, um, I mean, just not the delivery lead time, but also the time for creating new suppliers. The idea here is, if uh, I'm ever going to run out of materials in the future, I need to have time to plan for that. And uh, that's why we do this uh, monthly. Now, two things are important here. One is, uh, for example, I know that in January 21, I'm going to sell 180 units of sedan Model 3. I know that each sedan Model 3 sells for uh, $30,000. So I, I, I can sort of plan the cash inflow in my organization and I can do my uh, accounts receivable or AR planning that this is what I'm likely to get based on this plan. Second is I can also use uh, master schedules to start promising deliveries to my customers. So that part of master schedule, which is based on forecast and not actual customer orders, is available to promise to our customers. And so we can use that uh, facility, the available to promise idea, to start telling customers or promising deliveries to customers. And uh, one last concept uh, before we end is that companies generally have a tendency to freeze some part of master schedule. I'm not going to revise it again and again and again because revising in the short term, revising every day's or daily plans create some kind of um, a disruption in the plan or inconsistency in the plan, which uh, makes it difficult for the business to continuously keep adjusting. So the first two weeks, three weeks or something, businesses freeze and that's called the frozen zone of MPS or master schedule. Well, um, that's it about uh, master schedule and uh, let's talk about the next part, which is material requirement planning or MRP.